welcome back. Today we will be talking about how to write a persuasive paragraph or a persuasive essay. I hope that you are not going to hear a lot of background noises, so please excuse that one. Okay, so let us start. A persuasive paragraph or a persuasion is uh, it organizes idea to show a set of evidence that leads to a logical conclusion or argument. So it presents the issue, the position, as well as the supporting evidence. So pag sinasabi natin persuasion, we are trying to convince our readers or our audience to a specific argument or idea about uh, that we believe in let us say for example i think that you have tried convincing your parents to increase your allowance or to to buy you an iphone 11 pro max or iphone 12 so um those things are an example of convincing others so it's convincing your readers or your audience so that is our purpose when we write a persuasive essay or a persuasive paragraph. So, hindi natin namamalayan na in our everyday life, nagagamit na pala natin yung persuasion. So, pag kinoconvince natin, uh, nagpapaalam ka na pupunta ka sa friends mo kasi uh, mag-out of town kayo or magbi-beach kayo or magpupul. So, you, of course, uh, magbibigay ka ng reasons kung bakit dapat na payagan kay ng parents mo sasabihin mo ah uh, hindi na magbebehave naman kayo doon or uuwi lang kayo na maaga or gagawin mo na lahat ng mga gawain bahay so in order to convince or to persuade your parents so that is when you want them to agree with you so that is how a persuasive paragraph or essay works so, when you write this uh, kind of paragraph, you take a stand on the issue. It could be you are for, you agree with the issue, or you are against, you disagree with the issue, and builds the strongest possible argument to win over the reader. So, parang nagde-debate, di ba? Uh, you, you need to take a stand. Are you for or against the position? And then, when you are done choosing your stand, of course, you need to to build a strongest possible argument. Because there are a lot of arguments. However, you need to choose, of course, the strongest for you to win over your reader or your audience. So, how do you do that one? Let us go back to the previous slide. You need to... Uh, write or include supporting evidence and facts on the side of the argument. So it is your job to convince the reader to accept a particular point of view or take a specific action. So hindi lang nag end yung goal or purpose ng persuasive paragraph para ma-convince mo yung reader. But you also... Uh, want them to take an action of the specific position that you want them to be convinced. A good persuasive essay demonstrates not only why the writer's opinion is correct. So, syempre, um, when you write a persuasive essay, napakahalagay na ma ma-convince mo yung readers na tama yung opinion mo or tama yung side na pinili mo. Pero, hindi lang dyan. Mas magiging maganda yung persuasive essay mo, mas magiging effective siya. If you are also going to give the opposing view, at bakit naging incorrect yung opposing view? It's uh, better if you are going to to show both sides of the issue. Kasi nga, di ba, um, we do not judge a specific event without really knowing the two sides of the coin so you need to give the the positive or the negative side of the issue or both sides of the issue and then kung positive ka you give the negative but you also refute it so ibibigay mo kung bakit syempre mas uh, doon dapat maniwala or mas papanigan dapat yung reader yung position na pinili mo. So, para itong you are in the trial. So, pag nasa trial ka, 
just imagine yourself being a lawyer. So, pag meron kang a case, of course, you have your side. So, pwedeng papanigan mo yung client mo. So, whatever is the case, so kung ano yung stand mo about the case, you need to search for a lot of evidence, for a lot of facts and supporting details para mapanalunan ninyo yung case. It's the same with writing a persuasive paragraph or essay. So, you collect all the evidence, the facts to win over your reader or your audience. So, please take note of that one. A persuasive essay, you are trying to convince the readers to believe on the position. And then, you also want them to take an action. And it is very important that you show both sides of the issue. And then, that is, this is where you are going to show to the readers kung bakit mas uh, papanigan nila yung issue kung saan doon yung side mo. Alright, so what are the five steps in writing the writing process for persuasive essays? So, let us review first what are the writing process. We have the pre-writing, we have the drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. So, these are tips. It's not applicable to all. I mean, some writers have their own way of writing, but these are very help helpful. These are general tips when you are going to write a persuasive essay. So, in the pre-writing stage, you are going to, of course, choose a position. Are you for or against the topic? And then, you need to understand your audience. Kailangan mo intindihin. Ano ba yung perspective ng audience? Or paano mo ba makakonvince yung, yung audience or yung readers? Kasi if you do not understand your audience, if you will not consider your audience, of course, you will not convince them to agree with you. And do the research. It is very important that you know how to gather information. You know how to dissect information because a lot of information is given to us and it is our task it is it is our job to choose which information should we include in our persuasive essay and then after you do re your research after you have gathered all the information it is now the time to identify the most convincing evidence of course you want the best out of those um, information that you have gathered the next one is drafting the persuasive essay. So you have here, of course, you have the introduction, the body, and the conclusion, and also you have the title. So in the introductory paragraph, uh, these are the useful tips. You need to grab the reader's attention by using a hook. So di ba, uh, it is very important na pagkabasa pa lang nila sa introduction mo, sa lead statement mo is, mahuhook mo na yung attention ng readers. Pwede kang gumamit ng quotation, pwede kang gumamit ng rhetorical question, which means na mapapaisip sila sa tanong na iyon. Uh, pwede kang gumamit ng ano na, uh, mga uh, cases na pwede mong i-quote or ilagay sa lead statement mo. So, it's up to you. And then, you can also give. It is important to give an overview of the argument. So, you need to to give the reader the idea kung ano ba patungkol yung argument or ano ba patungkol yung persuasive essay na sinusulat mo. And then, you close it with a thesis statement that reveals the position to be argued. So, uh, in the introduction, it is very important na you have your thesis statement. It is the you introduce the topic and of course you give your side of the position and the next one after you are done with your introduction you now go to the body of your paragraph so each body paragraph should focus on one piece of excuse me evidence and then within each paragraph provide sufficient supporting detail so halimbawa um you have you decided to have four paragraphs in the body paragraph so in the first paragraph meron kang isang evidence and then jan magbibigay ka ng supporting details and then the next one meron ka na namang panibagong evidence and then supporting details and so on so hindi mo siya i-compress sa isang paragraph lang so pag iba-iba sila so you you divide them into paragraphs kasi ito yung 
naging ang problema ng mga writers, they sometimes they do not know how to divide the paragraph. Minsan tuloy-tuloy lang yung pag, pagsusulat nila even if uh, hindi na siya masyadong related with each other. I mean, it should be um, coherent, but you need also to divide para hindi naman para mabombarded ng information yung readers pang hindi sila makakahinga kasi pag pagtuloy-tuloy yung essay mo you you need to divide it in a paragraph okay and then yun nga sa sinabi ko kanina you need to give the opposing view so the opposing view of the paragraph you describe the the other side of the argument but you refute it with the key points of the the op- of the opposing view of course The next one, lastly, you have the concluding paragraph. So, how do you conclude? How do you write your conclusion? You may restate and reinforce the thesis statement in your introduction. You may um, restate your argument. And of course, you need to provide a supporting evidence. So, it's up to you again. You may end with a quotation. You may end with a question mark. Or you may end with a suggestion or recommendation for the action that they need to take because if we go back a persuasive paragraph does not only convince the readers but you also want them to take an action of the specific issue that you are trying to talk into the into your paragraph okay the next step is revising the persuasive essay so in the revision part or in the revision phase It is where you are going to modify, you reorganize your work. Your, your goal here is to to make it the best it can be. So, pwede mo siyang, uh, you look into it, ano ba talaga yung unang point na ilalagay ko sa introduction, sa body, sa conclusion, anong mga information, anong mga evidence yung, yung ilalagay mo. Kasi, syempre, uh, ayaw mo na... Sobrang haba ng persuasive essay mo, pero paikot-ikot ka lang. So, you need to be direct. Okay? So, and you need to have a strong argument. The next one is editing the persuasive essay. So, dito na, you are going to proofread. You're going to correct the, the punctuation, the grammar, the capitalization para maging uh, perfect yung persuasive paragraph mo. Uh, a tip is that you can have a friend read the essay and help writers edit with a fresh perspective. So if you are comfortable, you may ask a friend to read it so that your your friend could give her or his um, idea as well. Or kung may kilala ka na magaling sa sentence construction, grammar, as well as the mechanics in writing, you can ask for their help but it is important that it's you who write the essay itself you are just seeking for help to improve your paragraph and then lastly you're going to publish now your essay because you are done with your um revising editing so kung tapos mo na yun lahat ready ka na ngayon na magpublish so pag pag sinasabi nating publish, hindi naman ibig sabihin na kailangan meron tayong publishing company. Ang ibig sabihin nito na yung at tapos na siya, isasubmit mo na sa teacher or ipapabasa mo sa friends or sa family. And then, it's, um, ito nga dito sinasabi na you may learn from the experience and use the feedback to make the next essay even better. So, di ba, when you submit your essay, your, your teacher would have her or his feedback on how you're going to improve in the next time that you will have another write-up. So, yun lang naman. These are some signal words for persuasive paragraph or transitional words that you can use, but it is not limited to it. Pwede undoubtedly, kasi nga you are trying to point a specific argument, nevertheless, although despite, consequently, however, at marami pang iba. So, if we are going to review again, um, in writing a persuasive essay, you are trying to convince the readers to take a side of the argument na parehas sa'yo. If you are against the argument, gusto mong ma-persuade yung readers to be against of the argument as well. And of course, not only that, but you want them to take a specific action. All right. So, I hope that that is clear and if you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask during our Google meeting. And 
again, for your task this week, you need to choose a partner. So, kayo nung bahala kung sino yung magiging partner ninyo and yung instructions nakasulat na sa module. So, please maximize your time in finishing your persuasive paragraph this week and I want a good persuasive paragraph so please give me a good one. Alright, so thank you so much for listening everyone. Let us um, meet again in our next um, video discussion. Keep safe always.